Hello. Hello. My name is Peter, and I'm here to talk about SDG number one. And well, what is SDG number one? Now, this is a bit cheesy, but, but I want you to close your eyes, like, close your eyes, close your eyes, and imagine. Now, imagine you've just been woken up from sleeping, you've been awakened by your two kids who are both very young and are playing with each other. And just like any parent, they mean everything to you. Now, it's early in the day and you are all hungry, although this morning there isn't enough food for everyone. So you let your kids eat and you go hungry, hoping to eat, hoping to eat later on. You all sleep together on beach towels you've laid out in the same corner nook of a back alley. And day after day, you have to pack all belongings and walk with your kids to the busy streets to beg, hoping that passerbyers will have sympathy. Above where you sleep, you have written in chalk, do not pee here, because in the past when you left, you've come back to find it soiled. For weeks, you've been looking for a job to avoid sending your kids to school to give them a better life. Every night, you stay up, not just to make sure your kids fall asleep first, but because it's hard to sleep, feeling stressed, vulnerable, and helpless. Now, open your eyes. How did that make you feel? Now, that experience is based off of a true story of a woman and her two kids living in Accra, Ghana. She was a farmer who came to the city to escape sustained drought. And I'm positive that woman wants to be able to leave her environment just as easily as you can by opening her eyes as if to awake from a fever dream. However, that experience is recast over hundreds and hundreds of towns and cities globally. And this is just one example as poverty takes many forms and shapes. SDG number one wants to stop experiences like that, with the goal being to eliminate poverty in all of its forms everywhere by 2030. You might be asking, why does it matter? Well, we need to think about poverty as being a disease that takes over the body of our communities and if left to fester, hurts us all. Did you know, because of poverty, we see poor physical and mental health all around, an increase in disease, and shorter life expectancy, which all strains healthcare infrastructure and leads to more deaths that could have been avoided? Did you know, because of poverty, we see higher social exclusion, lower education, and a loss of economic productivity? And to top it off, did you know because of poverty, we see higher exploitation, higher crime, and higher political and social tension. So where, where did these relate in that experience from the beginning? And all other stories of poverty? Well, you know, right now, there are 700 million plus people living in extreme poverty, and that's roughly 10% of the global population. And that's only the most extreme kind it was projected in 2020 that 120 million people fall into poverty. And right now, poverty is being incubated by climate change, the coronavirus pandemic, and global conflicts such as in the Ukraine, Ethiopia, and Yemen. So how are current business leaders tackling the goal? In large, through philanthropy, which has been an important part of helping However, this alone isn't enough. Now, one surprising statistic is that eight, almost 80% of the world's poorest live in rural areas where agriculture is the main economic driver. From this data have sprung companies which are looking to tackle poverty and dismantle it through this vector. Take, for example, One Acre Fund, an organization which supplies farmers with financing and training to help them yield better crops and to make more money. 
In their own words, they're invested in farmers rather than giving handouts. And in 2020, One Acre Fund served 1.3 million farm families and helped them realize an average 33% income gain. However, they're not the only ones. In the Sub-Sahara, there are countless numbers of farmers who are one drought or one disease away from sliding into poverty. From this problem came Kenya-based insurance tech company Pula, which provides micro-insurance to farmers across Africa to protect their crops and in turn protect them. Pula insures 5.1 million farmers and 3 million hectares of land across Africa. Pula has seen $13.5 million in claims that have been paid out to farmers already. And from these examples, we can see that progress has and is being made. Although, it is important to note that poverty is a complex issue. And we can all see the symptoms and consequences. However, there is no one single cure for every case. The reason someone lives in poverty in San Francisco is different from why someone lives in poverty in Ulaanbaatar, Guadalajara, or Johannesburg. And so too is tackling it. Thank you.